let's not talk about relevance theory relevance theory is an, an important theory and concept in contemporary pragmatics it was initially proposed uh, by sperber and uh, and wilson in some way in 1980s and it, it can be considered as one of their attempts to explain grice some important principles which have already been uh, in the discussion of academic circles related to pragmatics uh, they, they they talked about uh, grice principles in a way that they they intended to explain uh, them further uh, it can be seen as a framework for uh, for the study of human cognition proposed primarily in order to provide some kind of framework uh, which is realistic account of Uh, human communication so it aims to provide a psychological or cognitive framework uh, for for the interpretation of human communication uh, uh, this theory proposes uh, that conversational implication is or may be understood with the help of certain uh, relevant features of context only when we can relate uh, our conversation with the context we can understand uh the real meaning of 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 a conversation and also uh within that context uh, recognizing whatever is relevant uh, to the ongoing conversation uh, in this way it can be seen as a pragmatic theory because it looks into the relationship between language and its use in a in a certain context uh it looks into the relationship in this way between meaning and the context therefore as as i said a while ago it can be seen as a pragmatic theory uh, it it can be seen also seen as an attempt to uh, work out in detail one of grice central aims or central themes in which he talks about uh the meaning uh, meaning in relation to speaker's intention the, one of the major contentions of grice has been that meaning lie in speaker's intention or we, we call pragmatics as a study of speaker's meaning what meaning speakers want to convey us so this uh, theory of relevance leads us to look into that cognitively or psychologically uh, into the meaning which are proposed by a speaker in a certain conversation uh, in this way it can be seen as a cognitive theory also Uh, as it looks into the relationship between language and mind as it sees that how cognitive processes uh, which speaker and the hearer has to go through in order to understand each other's meaning uh, core of the theory is the communicative principle of relevance and uh, this principle holds that uh, there there has to be certain relevance between between the speaker and hearer's talk and and the context in which it is it is uh, occurring in order to make it meaningful every person engaged in communication has the concept of relevance in his mind uh, when hearers and readers uh, make sense of the text they interpret connections between uh, between utterances as meaningful uh, and also by drawing on inferences from Uh, the contextual background or background knowledge or the shared knowledge of the speaker and the hearer in this way a lot is dependent on the context in which speaker and hearer are talking to each other the purpose of communication in this way is not to duplicate thought uh, thoughts of each other uh, between hearer and the speaker rather uh, to enlarge uh, mutual cognitive environments so how they relate to each other and their th- thoughts connect with each other uh, that would enhance their uh, mutual cognitive environments and this theory of relevance actually looks into that the degree of relevance within a certain communication is usually governed by two important concepts and they are uh, contextual effects what kind of effects are available to us how could how much Uh, are we able to relate a certain communication to the context and also on the processing effort uh, what kind of effort or how much effort is required uh, in order to infer uh, something from the context 
if we could infer something quickly the processing effort would be lesser and relevance would be greater so uh, these are some of uh, the main aspects of relevance theory in brief uh, and they constitute uh, one of the major uh, few of the major thoughts of Ferber and Wilson uh, 